Hello everybody, it's Delusion Dispeller, and for this video series I will be talking about, well actually I'll be doing a movie review again, since the last one was so well received and appreciated on the um, Big Eyes movie. This particular movie is on joining cults, well not joining them, but it goes in depth into what it's like to be in a cult. And it's fictitious, it's not real, the characters are just made up. But it is very realistic in how it's depicted, and I thought it was a great example of explaining to you how cults work. As you know, it's something that I definitely go into in my videos, and I've been looking for a really good video on this particular topic, and I found one. So I will be stopping and starting the movie in between time to talk about and discuss what's going on so be aware of that um, it'll be done in little sections because there it is quite a long movie it's actually almost two hours long and I don't want you to have to sit through the whole thing all at once so um, without further ado I'm going to begin this movie um, not sure what I'm going to entitle this video series yet but I will know by the time I'm done filming all the different parts of it. So here we go. Um, one moment, I just need to click on this thing here. Right, ignore those little goofy noises in the background if we have any. Um, I'm not really sure how to disable everything on my phone, so here we go. Um, I'm going to forward through, like I said, skipping through a lot of it, because it's, it's a pretty long movie. Pretty music, but we're not going to belabor all of that. Skip right up to the star of the movie. The main character, his name is David. And David just had a breakup with his girlfriend. So he's very sad and depressed. And he's decided that he's going to take a little vacation. But on his vacation, he meets some people. Well, let me start here. A young pioneer community center. We're sort of a cooperative, except we're not. You see, it's a whole new concept. We run legal aid centers and health clinics and daycare centers and free food giveaways and old folks homes. Isn't that great? Who okay. pays? Well, we have all sorts of companies to deal with that. We are 100%. 100 self supporting All in seven years. Isn't that fantastic? So why the big secret? Oh, I wanted you to see it so you believe. Okay, this is his friend saying, um, I wanted you to see it so you could believe it. His friend apparently in the past has gotten involved in many different harebrained schemes and things, and David isn't really sure what to think of this one um, but his friend invited him to meet these two ladies and they're eating apparently at a restaurant of some sort and they're talking to him about this wonderful thing that they're part of this um, some type of a community service thing that they're doing and they're self-supporting and all in seven years they've established this little group and aren't you excited for us that we did this wonderful thing um in such a short amount of time. So they're interesting him, interesting him in this group, wetting his appetite a little bit with explaining that they're very successful and that his friend is part of this group and won't he come and check it out. So we're going to forward a little bit more ahead. Uh, let's see, right here is good to stop. So how long have you known Carl? A while. Yeah, you grew up together or something? Yeah. He's a great guy. That's true. Want to fresh? Uh, no thanks. So, uh, what brought you to California? Uh, what happened? You ran out of wood? Huh? <laughs> well, what brought you to California? Okay, the guy's asking him what brought you to California. He's trying to pump him for information, which is something that the cults will often do. Ask you things about yourself, 
not give you a whole lot of information about themselves personally until you have these little group meetings where you all gather around and bury your souls, which we'll see a little bit of that later on in the uh, film here. I'm going to go a little bit further on this clip. Gonna miss okay, the best part. a lot of repetition going on some chanting going on a lot of high adrenaline type of activity trying to get David you know hyped up and interested if any of you have seen my one video where I talk about when I went for the job interview and there were a whole bunch of people in the room with me during the job interview and it turned out it was um, like a what do you call it money making scheme type thing slash probably cultic type organization and when everybody seated, seated down seating whatever I'm trying to say when you're sitting down and you're seated they pull the white sheet off of the thing that's on the front of the table and you see all these products that you're supposed to sell and it's a very high drive type of group and many of these home-based businesses are cultic let's face it they just are not all of them but a lot of them I'd say the majority of the really well-known ones are, or were, if they're even in existence still. But it's still the same thing. It's the high hype. These girls were coming up to me. Hi, my name's Brenda. What's your name? Like, um, Laura Beth. Hi, Laura Beth. It's so nice to meet you. I think you're really going to enjoy the seminar tonight. I'm so glad to see you. Here, meet Frank. And Frank would come over. Hi, Laura Beth. I'm Frank. It's so nice to meet you. And I'm like, what the heck are these people smoking the helium or what i mean they were like really way the heck up there just crazy sanguine outgoing to the point where it was like abnormal outgoing not oh well these are just friendly people and as you can see this girl that's leading the chanting going on here is that same type of human being same type of character let's continue a little bit further They continue with the high adrenaline activity. Now they do something really weird. Take off your shoes and socks. Put your feet in the circle. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Oh, 